Hi everybody, we are back with the book Message from a Teen in the Spirit's World by um, The Big Journey by the Spirit Me Alicia. We apologize for last week, we didn't have any network so it was impossible for us to try to um, be live. But let us continue with the book. For those of you who are just starting to um, listen to this, um, the book is about a boy, Carlos who is um, ex writing a letter to his brother and he, he wanted to explain his experience where from his illness um, we discarnated and his experience in the spiritual realm which is very beautiful so in the last chapter he had a visit from family his grandmother and his cousin came to visit him to help him because he's, he have um, a hard time controlling his thoughts and which makes him um, experience um, the illness that he had when in his body. So um, the next chapter is the village. Let's continue. I'm reminded for a few more days in the hospital. Sorry, I remained for a few more days in the hospital bed under the care of my family. I fought against troublesome thoughts dominating my mind. Of co our, our cousin Antonio didn't stay more than one day at my bedside. He was enrolled in an intern internship in the children's complex and had to get back to his studies. However, the doctor visited me every day for the next two weeks until I left my room. Feeling better and ready to go despite still being a bit weak. Grandma Adelia and Aunt Eunice were visibly satisfied and helped me with my first steps outside. Oh, what a joy. Only then did I see that both lived in a charming and inviting house. After going down a short hallway, I came to a spacious, well-furnished room. I stopped in wonder at the light-filled doorway connecting the room to the outside. A whole new world was unveiled to my sight. The surrounding landscapes was lovely and ex extraordinary. Beautiful houses similar to ours, although much nicer. We are all lined up gracefully and charming in rows. All of them were surrounded by small or large gardens linked together by pleasant looking orchids. I concluded that the lush plants all received the same care given to the flowers. Flocks of brilliantly feathered birds crisscrossed happily in the sky, a peacefulness and unknown on earth, however, in the atmosphere. I breathed long droughts of pure light air. Grandma Delia's house is surrounded by different colours, coloured but mostly red flowers, which lend the garden an aspect of permanent joy. Grandma said that Aunt Eunice had organized the planting and had chosen which flowers to grow. Of course, you would like to know if they are like those we have on earth. Yes, many look like roses, carnations and forget-me-nots, but most displayed differences that I cannot describe. Between the garden and the orchids, at Grandma's house, for example, there are two um, jealouses, I hope I said it correctly, jealouses, covered with vines, whose seeds <clears throat> I would love to send to Mum. This elegant plant sent out, sends out long, fancy runners covered with dark green leaves amongst which bloom tiny abundant bl blossoms of white petals laced with red 
giving off a delightful aroma. In fact, the runners of leaves and flowers are so fragrant and beautiful that I don't have anything for comparison. To be honest, I could never have imagined there was such a beautiful place after death. In light of my displays of amazement, Grandma's ex Grandma explained that there were other regions that were even more beautiful, but that they could only be entered by sanctified souls who had used all their time on earth to practice goodness. Wow, this is a glimpse of, of the spiritual world, of heaven. And the way he um, described the, the flowers and everything that is so beautiful and the way he said that um, he couldn't even have a comparison to, to explain how beautiful it is and how wonderful um, the smells are. And this is amazing because we can f actually feel Carlos' amazement about this, um, um, this experience and something to, to look forward to, don't you think? Um, that is why flowers, um, I love to, to um, work in the garden. So, and, and the way he said that, um, he wanted to send his mother some of the seeds. So I think the way Carlos explained this um, is like for us to, to experience um, flowers and plants and everything, the air and everything in a, in a more amazing, peaceful, loving way. So um, I think I'm going to um, do like Vanessa does and says, let's do this exercise. And in this week continuing, let's um, go out and see the flowers and see the plants and the trees and experience it in this way. And let's visualize if we can see how beautiful this experience could be even better when we, we return to the spiritual world. And it's so amazing to, to have spiritism to, to give us, us this experience, to give us this um something to look forward to as well but also to be thankful for to know that this is the same and um and it's beautiful how a small boy of 13 can explain things in in this mind because children is in this discovering <clears throat> um mindset and i think when you look at children you will see that they they have this awe of everything new. Even the smallest insect is an awe for them. And especially when we work together with them and um, see that um, in the, and explain all these things and um, experience all these things. Um, and let's do this. Let's exercise to see things better. When you're a painter, you, you um, look at things in a different way. Let's try to to um, visualize and see things better, shapes and colors like Carlos explained in this dark green and white and um, reds and all this. If we truly see, <clears throat> we can actually find um, the extension of this loving um, spirit on earth as well. So um, we will continue next week with news, um, which we can then continue with this book. But this is a beautiful chapter, so we have an opportunity to um, try to experience what Carlos has just shared with us. May everybody have a wonderful and amazing week, and let's do this together. Let's do good things and try to, to appreciate all these beautiful things around us, flowers and, and everything, the scents of everything. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye-bye.